Hey Health Nuts, it's Nicole from Health Nut Nutrition. You guys know how much I love my meal prepping and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys five easy and fresh lunch recipes to get you through from Monday to Friday. I wanna give a big thank you to Silk for sponsoring and collaborating with me on today's video. Myself and four other foodie YouTubers are gonna be bringing you guys a ton of meal prep recipes. We got you covered for breakfast, snack, lunch, dinner, even dessert guys. That's like 25 recipes all week long, I'm so excited. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing five bento box lunches, five different ways. These are so cute, perfect to pack for work, school, wherever it is that you're going, and you're gonna get something different every single day. So if you're like me and you easily get bored if you eat the same thing every day, don't worry, I got you guys covered. All right, let's get started and make some bento boxes. First up, I'm gonna cook up a large batch of quinoa since I'm gonna use it for four of the five recipes this week. I'm doing one part quinoa to two parts water with a little bit of sea salt, give it a quick stir, pop the lid on and just set it aside to cook. And then just to switch things up, my last recipe is gonna have quinoa pasta, so I'm just putting some into some boiling water and cooking it up based on the instructions on the package. For my veggies, and there are a lot of them in this week's meal prep, I'm gonna just roast up a ton of veg so that way it can all cook together in the oven at the same time. On a cookie sheet lined with parchment paper, I have some baby eggplant that I sliced up and scored. I also have some chopped up yellow cauliflower, but any colored cauliflower will work for this recipe. Drizzle on a little bit of olive oil. Give it a good rub right into the eggplant, make sure it's all over. I'm just gonna give the cauliflower a good massage. I'm gonna sprinkle on some curry powder, smoked paprika, and then for the eggplant, I'm just doing a Greek seasoning blend. Garlic powder on everything. Lemon juice on everything, and then I'm just gonna give everything a good massage. Last but not least, I'm sprinkling on a little sea salt and black pepper, and then popping that into the oven to roast. Next up, we have our protein, which I'm using tofu for a few of the recipes. I'm drizzling some olive oil, lemon juice, giving everything a good rub, and then I'm portioning out two portions for one flavor and then one portion for another flavor. For the smaller portion, I'm just sprinkling on some curry powder. And then for the larger portion, I just have some tamari. Salt and pepper on everything, and then just give it a quick massage with your hands. The tofu is just gonna soak up all the flavor from the spices and it's gonna taste really delicious after it's done roasting in the oven. Roast everything at 375 Fahrenheit for 30 minutes, making sure to toss halfway through. Next up, we wanna prepare our greens because of course I'm adding in lots of greens in this week's meal prep. I have some de-stemmed, washed, and chopped up kale along with some broccoli slaw. It's just easier to get pre-chopped broccoli slaw from the grocery store, that way you don't have to sit there and chop up everything, and this is just like a quick little meal prep hack that I use all the time. Bento box number one is my curry cauliflower wrap. First up, we have my spicy coconut sauce. In a bowl, you're gonna add in your silk cultured coconut. This is gonna give our sauce a creamy texture while still cooling down the heat from the hot sauce we're gonna add in. Squeeze of lemon juice, favorite hot sauce, garlic powder, salt and pepper, and whisk everything up together. As I always say, who needs store-bought dressings when you can make your own? For this wrap, I'm laying down a rice paper wrap that has been dipped in some warm water. I'm adding in my kale slaw, quinoa, then the curry, cauliflower, and tofu that we roasted, a drizzle of my spicy coconut sauce, a few sprigs of some fresh cilantro, and then use your best rolling skills and roll it all up. I usually pack about two of these for lunch since they are quite filling. Next to it, I have some grapes and just some energy bite balls that you can easily make or buy from the grocery store. Pack it all up and we have Monday. Bento box number two is my roasted eggplant and quinoa Greek salad. Next up, we're making a simple tzatziki. If you've never made the sauce before at home, it's actually really easy and it tastes exactly like the real thing. Once again, I got my trusty silk plain cultured coconut shredded and strained cucumber, fresh dill, garlic, sea salt and pepper, and some lemon juice. Stir it all up and you have a very easy and delicious simple tzatziki sauce. For this recipe, I'm starting off with a couple scoops of quinoa, chopped up cucumber, tomatoes, and red onion, squeeze of lemon juice, a drizzle of olive oil, some salt and pepper, along with some Greek seasoning. Give it a quick stir. 
Then you can lay down a couple slices of the roasted eggplant, a nice scoop of your tzatziki sauce that you made, and then for the side, I just have some pita chips along with some hummus. Oh, and don't forget olives because I'm obsessed with those. Pack it all up and Tuesday's ready to go. So for day three, which is Wednesday, we have some Thai lettuce wraps or cups, whatever you wanna call them, with a creamy cashew dipping sauce. Next up, I'm making my creamy Asian cashew dressing. For this recipe, I'm using silk unsweetened cashew. One thing I love about silk products is that you can always purchase unsweetened and control the sugar in your recipes. Lime juice, maple syrup, cashew butter, tamari sauce, fresh garlic and ginger, and then some sea salt and black pepper. Blend everything up until nice and smooth. And this is what it should look like. For these lettuce cups, we're starting off with some butter lettuce. Add in your kale slaw, quinoa, our tamari flavored roasted tofu, crushed up cashews, and then on the side, I'm gonna put that cashew dressing that we made, just so we can dip it or drizzle it on when you're ready to eat it so they don't get soggy. And then I'm popping in an already peeled mandarin orange because they're in season right now and taste delicious. For day four, we're making my Asian kale slaw salad and we're doing a little throwback Thursday and bringing back that same cashew dip and using it as our dressing for the salad. So for this salad, I'm starting off with the kale slaw for our base. Next, we have quinoa, our tamari roasted tofu, chopped up fresh mango, and then drizzle on our creamy Asian cashew dressing. Since the kale won't get soggy like the butter lettuce, you can throw it on right away. Add on some chopped up cashews, some cilantro, and then on the side, I have some snap pea crisps and baby carrots. And there you go, Thursday is done. All right guys, it's day number five, which means it's Friday and the weekend is around the corner and we are ending things off strong with my mint pea pesto pasta. That's a lot of peas, uh, but it's super easy, delicious, and I can't wait to share it with you guys. The next sauce is my mint pea pesto. In a food processor, add in some fresh basil and mint, raw walnuts, garlic, nutritional yeast, fresh sweet peas, and then I'm adding in Silk's Plain Cultured Coconut. I love using this product in my recipes because you can basically sub it one-to-one -one with yogurt and no one will know the difference. Good squeeze of lemon juice, drizzle in some olive oil, and a good pinch of sea salt and black pepper. Pop the lid on and blend everything until it's nice and smooth and everything is well combined. This is what it should look like. So we're gonna start off with some brown rice pasta that we cooked up earlier, chopped cucumber, cherry tomatoes, corn, and then top it off with that mint pea pesto and just give it a good stir until everything is well mixed. On the side, I have some fresh raspberries, and a simple trail mix that I made of almonds, dry cranberries, some chocolate chips, coconut, and pumpkin seeds. Pop the lid on and Friday is done. All right guys, those are my five bento box lunch recipes. If that didn't get you excited for meal prepping, I seriously don't know what will. If you guys try out any of these recipes, I wanna see your photos on social media. Take me at your health nut. All of the recipes will be in the info box down below, as well as a playlist called Five Days, Five Ways for more meal prep in action. Be sure to go over and check out Karen's video from Cravings. She's doing five Indian inspired dinner recipes and they look so good. I just wanna go over to Karen's house and have her cook for me like every single night. So be sure to check her out. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that red subscribe button down below. I post on my channel every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Have a fabulous day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.